Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh ideas from Miniard. This is a German tractor D85006 modification from 1937 or model from 1937 and we have it in 135 scale so it means it's a new version of the previous tractor release which we also reviewed in our YouTube channel and you can find it easily just by typing its name or kit number. By the way, this kit number is uh, 38029 and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review. So first of all box size here is typical. We have really nice box art here and of course short list of the features here. It's pretty much the same I would say as previous release and here on the side we have some safety information and also address of the manufacturer and barcode and on the other side you can see the marking options so from what I can understand we have two marking options here which is quite surprising to be honest but we will see what is actually inside. So this is a top opening box let's open it and here is what we have inside. All sprues are packed into the same plastic bag as you can notice and we have assembly manual on the bottom. We will check them one by one. Plastic bag is sealed. It is also a typical feature for mini art. So I have to cut through this plastic bag and we will check everything closer together. Just give me a second. Okay, so I cut through one plastic bag because we have several plastic bags in one plastic bag. It might sound funny, but it is what we have here. So now I'm trying to tear apart this plastic bag because it was sealed together with one of the plastic bags inside. Here is for example one. And now I'm trying to tear apart another one. Okay, I'm more or less successful in this. So here is the second one. And we are going to start with one of them. I guess with the... Okay, I have to cut through this one again. Okay... So we remove the plastic parts and we will check everything in a second. So first of all we have a small envelope here, let's zoom in a bit. So this envelope shows Miniart logo on the top and here usually they pack the P fret and here this time it is not that huge I would say. You can notice that the size is barely bigger than my fingertip and if we zoom in it's a typical unpainted PE thread from Miniart. We have various minor elements for a fine detailing of the model. Well it's better than nothing and of course it will add a noticeable difference for your kit. Next we start with the first grey plastic sprue and here you can notice that we have various parts for the tractor. For example this nice one piece seat with uh, throughout holes so you won't have to drill anything. We also have this exhaust pipe and also this part looks nice with all these promoted features. And here you can notice or check all these parts from the opposite side. Okay, we move it aside and next we go on with two identical plastic frames. Here they are. So I will show you on one because this is basically the same set of parts. Here we have road wheels for the tractor, but I guess the main feature is that it is a plastic part, not a vinyl part. We have some pre-molded details on the tire walls. And as far as I can guess, each wheel will have to be assembled out of all these parts. So basically you have to combine six parts together in order to get one wheel ready to be installed on your vehicle. If you flip it over here inside you can notice these guiding elements which will help you with proper alignment of these parts together. Okay. And next we go on with two more plastic sprues with wheels, so here they are, again the same set of parts, so I will show you on one. And note this nice 
I would say tire naming on the walls which is really cool this is a standard out of the box details you don't have to get any resin set or something else you get it as a standard inclusion and if you flip it over here you can notice what we have inside okay frankly speaking I do not understand how it will be assembled together I guess we will get some more yeah tire parts on the next spruce but here we have the white spruce so we will have to zoom out a bit even more okay now you should be able to see that we have here various structural parts and again molding quality seems to be fine we have a lot of thin parts here and there so be ready to carefully separate them because otherwise it will be easy to break them and maybe in some cases you might even replace them with metal wire it will be an easier assembly process and if you flip over this sprue here you can see what we have from the opposite side and while you're looking at this sprue I'm going to open another plastic bag so that it will be quicker and in the meantime let me also remind you that we have open the YouTube membership so you can join it and there are several types of the YouTube membership and you can even get free kits by joining this membership if you choose the higher tire there is a join button somewhere here so just click it and learn more about this feature so in the meantime I'm opening all the plastic bags here because for example clear plastic bag is packed into the separate uh, clear plastic sprue is packed into the separate plastic bag together with decals sheet and here it is so let's zoom in so here we have decals sheet and here we have this clear plastic sprue which will be used for the headlamp lenses as far as I remember there is no windscreen on this tractor yet but maybe it will be useful for the next version which will come in some time future and next we go on with this wheel arches which are molded as a complex one piece parts that's basically the same design as what we saw on the previous release if you flip it over here you can see them from the opposite side everything looks cool so I don't see any possible issue here and next we go on with some parts for the drivetrain why I'm a bit confused because if I zoom out you will see that this sprue is separated from the frame so some parts were just cut off and left aside because they are not needed for this version if you flip it over here inside you can notice some guiding elements so it will be easy to combine these two halves together okay and next is what I was talking about so we have tire parts for road wheels I guess we can zoom in a bit and here you can see them so maybe if I take it yeah now you should be able to see this tire from the side we don't have anything and here you can see that we have to remove this plastic tab in order to get it ready to be used with side walls we saw before and the final gray plastic sprue will be used for the external parts and panels so we can zoom out a bit here you can see it everything looks fine some parts are really tiny here you can see comparison with my fingertips so be ready for this it might be a bit tricky to work with them but it is doable and next we have assembly manual so this one is typical for mini art we can zoom out a bit and also close the camera so that it won't be that bright maybe even more okay now it's better so here we have this color printed brochure we have short list of the features on the first or on the cover next we go on with parts map and again there is no I would say mention of which parts won't be used in this build but we also have the paint chart here so assembly process starts with drivetrain as you can see you have to assemble it all together and next we continue with various parts for the front bonnet if we can call it so and it gets installed on the main chassis next here we continue with various control elements these are mainly pedals 
for the driver's compartment here we continue with four it's a driver's seat assembly here and if you flip over the page here we continue with installation of this driver's seat on the floor and we also installed rear view arches and rear let's say bar here we continue with various suspension elements these are leaf springs and also this exhaust tube and here we install the front mask with these headlamps and some minor P parts gets installed here of course this bulldog sign is also made out of PE as you remember here we assemble wheels so as I said you have to combine this five parts together for the front wheels and for the rear wheels you have to combine three parts and install these wheels from both sides as you can see the rear uh, wheel rims if we can call them so or maybe the brake drums they will be assembled separately and installed into the wheels we flip over the page and here you can see that we have to install the steering wheel and also why well, I'm a bit confused because oh yeah so you have to do this or you have to install these two parts from both sides so don't forget about it and here we have first Moroccan option it's from Netherlands it's 1939 1951 surprisingly and here we have another one is Prussia so it's from 1938 1945 Grey color, quite an interesting one as well. So, this kit should be already available. You can get it on Modelimax web shop. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit. Write it in the comment section below here. And if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss any new video reviews. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.